Hey Padawans, how's it going today? All right, so I don't know if this is gonna be the intro to this vlog or not, but I got a new microphone and I'm pretty excited about it. So I wanted to show it off a little bit. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but so what I got was like the Blue Yeti um, and I have it all set up. My fiance was super awesome and set up the whole arm and everything for me. It has a pop filter that we got for it. I'm really excited, I got the Midnight Blue one. Um, but I'm really excited because it's a nice, fancy, big, fancy phone. Fancy microphone. <laughs> People can actually hear me now because I have a really soft voice. <laughs> I know, who knew? But, so it's been really, really helpful for streaming because people can actually hear me now. Um, I do need to like play with it a little bit, but for the most part, it's all set up. But for anyone, like, just like an FYI, for anyone who wants to get like a fancy microphone, um, whether you're streaming, doing a podcast, anything like that that would require a microphone. If a microphone says it is plug and play, it is lying to you, first of all. <laughs> no microphone for it to sound right and sound good and actually professional is plug and play, first of all. And I found that with the Blue Getty, I was very grateful that my sister has experience in audio stuff, so she was able to help set, help me set it up and like get the settings all right and everything. Cause it can be really difficult to do. And I'll get into that a little bit more, but just so you guys know, it is a really nice microphone. It is. There's a lot of bad reviews because a lot of people think it's plug and play cause it's labeled as plug and play, but it's not. It's not at all. <laughs> so just FYI, no microphone is plug and play if you want it to sound good. <laughs> if you want it to sound right and make your voice sound professional, it is not plug and play. You have to know what the different settings do. If you want me to try to make a like kind of like a for dummies video on basic microphone settings and like what they do, I would definitely be down to try to do that. I'd like to do that if I can. I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert, but I know the basics um, and I might be able to explain it for someone who's not as tech savvy like myself. So I wanted to try to play car mechanic, but the tutorial doesn't tell you what to do. It just tells you what all the things are. It doesn't actually tell you like what you're supposed to be doing. And I'm kind of mad about it because I really wanted to play it. Gosh dang it. Oh dear. It's fine. We'll just play some Battlefront instead. It's fine. Hey Padawans. So I'm really excited because I just got my Avril Lavigne order in. So I wanted to share it with you. So uh, it's dark now. I'm super excited because my Avril Lavigne package just came in from her new album, Love Sucks. If you haven't listened to it, you should definitely check it out because I'm a huge fan. Anyways, okay. So I'm gonna open it. I keep forgetting to grab my tripod, so I apologize. Um, I originally was gonna get the sweatshirt, but I figured I had like 20 sweatshirts, so I don't really need another one. Oh my god! Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ready? Ready? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a shirt. It's pretty. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Ooh. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Woo! She's so pretty. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited to wear this t-shirt. It looks super comfy. It looks super comfy. It's because it is. I'm super excited. And I just wanted to share this moment with y'all because, because yeah, it's Avril Lavigne. I've been waiting for this package. I was told it was going to come like next week and it came this week. So that's super exciting. Yeah, I'm super excited. And I wanted to share it with you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Okay, well, I guess we'll move on to the next segment. I'm so excited! I have been like listening to this album like literally non-stop since it came out. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. If I'm not streaming, it's on in the background, pretty much. I don't know, every different she puts out, it's always different and I love that about her. It's just, it's always different. It's always, it's always has like its own kind of vibe, but it does have definitely some, best damn thing vibes a little bit but also like its own vibes in its own way and I love that <laughs> just so talented I love it and it has like John um let's see who else because she worked with Machine Gun Kelly Black Bear Mark Hoppus I know Modson was helping her produce it as well and John Felby so exciting so exciting I'm really excited if you couldn't tell just to let you know I'm really So 
today I wanted, I, I felt like making chicken die van. <laughs> so we're doing that. So I'm gonna have the recipe down below as per usual and probably upload it to Discord at some point. Um, but for the first step, we are making, because it requires stuffing, so we're making, gotta make everything prepared first. So first things first is we have water boiling to make the stuffing. And yeah, because I love stuffing, so I have to put it in everything if it's an option. And then we are also going to be boiling some water for the frozen broccoli to get that all set up. You can use fresh broccoli, um, but I use 10 ounces of frozen broccoli instead. As well as we're going to need about one and a half cup of cute chicken cooked. So I use the Purdue prepared chicken. Here, let me show you what that looks like. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Just so you know what I'm talking about, this is the kind of chicken that I use. Today we're going to be using the rotisserie style because it's really easier um, in general for that. So yeah, so I'm going to go prepare all that and we'll, 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 we'll come back. So since I'm waiting for everything to cook and be prepared, we're going to go ahead and mix the milk and the soup together, which is one of the separate steps. You can do these steps pretty much in any order. I just recommend while you're start getting everything prepared and then go ahead and mix the ingredients. We're gonna take two cans of cheddar broccoli or broccoli cheese, condensed broccoli cheese soup. Get out of the can, my God. So with the soup, you need to add a third cup of milk. I'm using soy milk. Add that. A third cup. And we're gonna mix it together. Okay, so for another thing you can prepare before everything's cooking is take some a tablespoon of melted butter. It's already melted. And then you take two tablespoons of bread crumbs and you put it in with the butter. Two tablespoons. And then you mix it together until the friends. Yeah, the directions. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is prepare a pie plant pan. It's a nine inch pie pan. Um, mine is super, but I like mine with tin foil because it's easier to clean up and you're gonna put tin foil on it anyways. So, you know. All right, so first things first, add the broccoli. Right, and then you're gonna add the chicken. Right on in. It's already pre cooked, so I didn't really have to cook that long, which is helpful. All right, so I like to mix mine just because I feel like it should be mixed, you know? I don't think I made enough chicken, but that's okay. Sometimes I just prefer more greens, so it's okay. I'm gonna try to make sure it's all even though. They're not even seeing because I don't know how to film, but yeah, I'm trying to make sure it's all even. Apparently, I didn't put enough chicken in there, but it's fine. I prefer more green versus, you know, I, I prefer veggies over a. Uh, poultry anyways usually so it's fine it's fine make it how you are gonna enjoy it more right okay so the next step after that is you then take the broccoli and milk soup that we made and pour that on the top all right so then we like try to like, cover it evenly because it's just gonna like sink in where there where it can it's gonna fill the space as it melts and it cooks in the oven okay so then after that um, you can top with breadcrumbs and as well as the stuffing. So just top it to your heart's content and cover in tinfoil. So I topped it with all the stuffing and the breadcrumbs. I covered it as evenly as I could. So you can also add cheese as well. I just didn't have any cheese on hand to shell the other ingredients and it already has cheese in the soup so I didn't really worry about it. So then after that, I like to cover it with the tinfoil and have the extra like Round, round, you don't have to do that. That's just my preference. Makes clean up 10 times easier. So however you prefer to do it, up to you. But yeah, so then you preheat the oven to 400 degrees. When it's finally at 400 degrees, you put in the oven for about 25 minutes or until it's bubbling and it's all set. Yeah, so I'll see you in about 25 minutes then. So it's all done. This is what it should look like. Can you hear that bubbling? Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna let it cool, and then we're gonna we're gonna have some. And yeah, but it's really really good, really yummy. It has broccoli, chicken, stuffing, and cheese. All good stuff. Easy, 
super easy dinner. They can do probably like 10 bucks. Look at that can that price. <laughs> Pretty simple, easy dinner to make. Doesn't really cost that much. It really doesn't. I would say you could probably make this in under $10, realistically. So yeah, so I definitely recommend it. Um, it has broccoli, it's got chicken, so good things. So it's like for kids, easy to eat and a easier way to get them to eat broccoli maybe? I don't know, just a thought. Honestly, if I had this when I was a kid, I probably would have eaten broccoli more often. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember if my mom used to make this or not. It's entirely possible she did, and I was just like, ew, it has broccoli, I don't wanna eat it. Also, it has chicken in it, I don't wanna eat it. That's entirely possible, because I was a very picky child when it came to food. Anyway. <laughs> Aw, Huxley's saying so cute. Let's go say hi to the Huckster. Hi, handsome. What's going on? My new bubble. Like, yeah, but the treats you don't have treats, you know. I don't give a treat if you don't have the treats. Don't get out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just started kicking me. All right. Well, thanks. I'm gonna go have some chicken dive in for for my lunch now. But yeah, recipe will be down below, and I will make sure to put it on Discord. All right, yeah, catch you later. Great, so I was trying to make peanut butter muffins so I could like know how to make them and like make a video for y'all. And at first I didn't know which recipe. Also, I'm sorry if like it sounds off because I'm wearing Bluetooth headphones. I don't know if that's impacting this or not, but if it is, I'm really, really sorry. So I'm gonna try to make it quick. Um, so I had two different recipes, but one's grammar was just really bad. Like it said, to um, combine the peanut butter, sugar, oil, and peanut butter, and stir well. And it didn't say three of the other ingredients that go in, but whatever, it's fine. Um, so then I mixed it all together, right? And I was like, cool, cool. It looks like cookie dough. It doesn't look like a muffin mix. It looks more like cookie dough. Okay, it's like cookie dough. So either I'm making peanut butter cookie muffins or they're gonna come out like muffins like they're supposed to. I don't know. It's gonna be an adventure, but I mean, look at that. You look good though. I'm using espresso chips if you're curious. Anyways, okay, bye. Okay, so muffins are done. How they look? I took one out, obviously, because I just showed it to you. Okay, so we're gonna try this. Let's let's see. Oh, bad. Actually, it tastes like muffin, so let's go. It's a 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9, nine or 10 out of 10. <laughs> What do you see? What are you looking at? Yeah, so baby Yoda. So handsome.
so I'm not really sure what happened in this vlog. I'm really not sure, but anyways, I got new hair. I don't know if I put the transition video or not in, but I probably did. But I got new hair and I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's not styled perfectly right now, but it's fine. It's fine. I love it. Anyways, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this vlog. I know there was a lot of like craziness happening in it. It was, this has been quite a month, so yeah, March Madness, man. Hi, right, settle, 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 settle. No. Anyways, yeah, so this month has been kind of crazy and um, like kind of been in the middle of trying to find a new job and like outside of this one, obviously. But so yeah, I've been trying to find a new job, trying to not be stressed out with life. Trying, life can be stressful. <laughs> Reasons why I got my hair done, guys. Reasons. But yeah, just there's just been so much going on. I have been exhausted all month and yeah. Yeah, there's not enough coffee in the world for my exhaustion, but, um, but that's okay. I got my cute little kitties, so. Right, Huxley? Yeah. We love you. Uh, <laughs> so sweet. Yeah, so I apologize if this vlog was either like, what the what, or <laughs> whatever it was. Huxley, please stop. Can we not do that? Thank you. Thank you. You're very helpful. You're so fluffy today. Oh my gosh, you're so fluffy. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I hope you're having an awesome day. And... Can I help you? Can I? No, please. Can I? finish what I was working on here. Thank you. Can you get out of the camera shot so I can see what I'm doing? Oh my gosh. Huxley! I love you too. I love you too. What was I saying? I'm gonna try again later. Hey Padawans, what's going on? So I'm not really entirely sure what happened in this vlog. I attempted to cook and then attempted to cook again and then the cats were going crazy. There was a lot of craziness this month so I didn't actually get a lot to... What are you doing? Get down! So this month has been kind of... March was kind of crazy and I didn't really know what was happening all month. I didn't. I, I really didn't. So... <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I hope it gave you some laughs, some giggles, you know, all the ha-has. Yeah, anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. If you want the links, they're gonna be down below. All the recipes should be down below. I'll pop them in the Discord as well, if you want them. Catch you next time. Hope you have a good one. As always, may the force be with you.